A long time ago, I heard someone say, you can't change the past. Well, God of War just did. The 2018 version of God of War is a special game because really, we never see games like this. This video will outline why. After watching some reviews of the game, it appears that other people feel the same way I do about Kratos' new adventure. God of War just kicks ass. Coming from a franchise born on the PlayStation 2 during times when games were much different, God of War in 2018 managed to do something rarely seen in this industry. Take an old game, an old design, and make it new again. And make it very different. Usually this would spell disaster for most games and alienate fans loyal to the original concept. Especially the God of War crowd, which had gotten used to the design of 1, 2, 3, and of course Ascension. Believe me, they are a very loyal bunch. Trust me, I know a few of these people. It's because God of War games are pretty specific. We're talking about over-the-top beat-em-up brawlers inspired by Greek mythology. Lots of action, spectacle, and tons of gameplay with a sprinkling of story, but most definitely heavily leaning towards keeping you in the action. The story is there, but it definitely takes a back seat. The new God of War game is a hybrid game. It's a game where action meets purpose, specifically in storytelling, individuality, and introspection. You have a companion this time around, but not just any companion. He's your son, who acts as an aid in battle upon your command, but also a youngling in need of guidance and mentoring, which is the cornerstone of the game. Kratos must teach the boy how to survive by mastering and containing his own rage that he has heavily leaned upon in prior titles. But the past of Kratos is complicated and violent, and in some games, his deep character went unexplored. This allows the transformation of his son to be a personal struggle as the boy learns more about him and the choices he made in his past life, good or bad. Ultimately, it's a story of companionship. While not on the personal level of Sony's other AAA single-player games like The Last of Us or Uncharted, it's still a huge change from the original titles. The success of God of War shows that we can have games like this in 2018. Linear games with a focus on story and strong character interaction and tightly focused gameplay mechanics. Despite the name of the video game, God of War is just as much about the downtime as it is the action. Yes, there's a lot of gameplay in there, but quiet moments of dialogue often stay at the forefront of importance given how much Kratos and his son develop together. There's very little filler content, there's not a tremendous amount of combat options, and I wouldn't call the game world gigantic. In fact, it's much more contained, even though it still feels really epic. That's a hard combination to pull off. A few RPG mechanics like upgrading and finding gear complement the combat, which is focused on meleeing with your axe, throwing it, phasing in a shield to parry, or commanding the volleys from your son's bow. Pepper in a few special moves, and it's a great system, although it's very tightly focused. I absolutely loved it. In a world where most games say more, 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 God of War says, no, let's make everything better, regardless if it's more or not. And that's a big improvement from the prior games and a just a big, just a big wake-up call to the industry as a whole. It's also not very flashy. God of War is a dark, yet still vibrant game bright colors of combat and animation suddenly cut through the grayness of the world brilliantly during combat. Because of the intimately close camera and the zero cutting feature, it also feels more grounded and personal, something prior GOW games had a hard time touching on as they often focused more on spectacle. There's also a welcome amount of exploration, and the game tries not to get in your way too much. There's no mini-map on the screen, yet a simple compass is there at times. It doesn't feel hand-holdy though, which is probably because the game wants to come across as open yet direct at the same time. God of War strikes a great middle ground between being linear and being open. It's not an open world game by any means, but there's enough hidden content that it will make it worthwhile for you to do some exploration. You can encounter optional boss fights in some areas and some additional items in others. Plus, it's interwoven into the companion mechanic. When you're near an optional area, your son may hint at its location to entice you over, which is a neat way to integrate clues into a God of War game. This version of God of War also smartly deals with backtracking, a plague that can make many single-player games quite the chore. When it does send you back into areas in the mid or late game, 
It often changes them up a little bit by adding some new sections to the areas or hiding new items in them, making the painful exercise of walking through repeat areas not so bad. So, summing the game design up, linear, single player game, focused yet fairly limited combat options, small world, a reliance on story and character development, and a game that does not take 100 hours to complete. If you add all of that up, God of War is literally the blueprint for how not to make a game in 2018, says EA, Ubisoft, and some of the other big video game makers. It was able to be a strong single player game with a limited focus, however it should be noted that there was most definitely a reason it could do so. Sony is a large company and their Santa Monica division created this game. They have the resources to bring the journey of Kratos to life through a quality standpoint not capable by the average developer. And of course they've got Kratos, the icon of the PlayStation, alongside a massive franchise player base. The 2018 rendition of God of War is a rare accomplishment because it's so rarely pursued. So while we can have games like this today, there are very few companies out there that are in the position to take that chance. The other thing God of War shows this industry is that we can transform an old game type into something brand new, and that there's a smart way to go about and do it. God of War may seem like a large departure at first, which it is, but it's also quite familiar at the same time. Kratos is ruthless when it has to be done, nodding to his chaotic and unpredictably violent behavior seen in prior God of War games. So you've still got that anger, but with his companion in need of mentoring, he often has to rely on other traits. Resourcefulness, patience, strategy, intelligence. All lessons he tries to convey to his son along the way through the journey of 2018's version of God of War. And in that journey, you'll also notice that quick time events have changed, replaced by a stun meter that allows Kratos to execute speciality moves or just straight up execute the enemy. It's a great way to defeat large enemies that get in your way and a subtle evolution of the now very much jaded QTE system. It's a nice change of pace. With an average playtime of about 15 to 25 hours-ish, depending on how much content you pursue, it's also a pretty compact experience, although there is much optional content for you to complete once you wrap up the main campaign. There's no multiplayer, no open world, no microtransactions, no fluff disguised as meaningful content. It's just a very strong linear game with little filler content, one that knows exactly what it is. And we never see games like this come to the market. God of War shows the world that linear video games are not dead, that they can be released in 2018 with the highest production values and a campaign that isn't out to waste your time, inflate its length, and trick you into thinking it's something different from what it is. This game shows us that we should stop trying to make games bigger and more addictive and just start making them better. Unfortunately, this type of game is just not practical by every developer, especially since we've seen such a huge shift to the mid and low budget game in the past few years. We won't see another God of War for a long time, as it's a rare and risky game to make. It defies traditional game development norms that say single player games are no longer profitable. We need to exploit, open up our worlds, and trap players inside slot machine style video games. Or at least, eh, last game works, let's go ahead and do the same thing over and over and over. But without a striking main lead like Kratos, it's a hard case for the budding developer to get the proper funding to make something like this. It's just not possible, especially when the industry is moving away from what makes this game so good in the first place. You need a very strong face on the box of a single player game these days. You need a lot of funding, an open-minded publisher, and the heart to build a world that deviates so far from convention. Those things are why we never see games like God of War. So there it is guys, that's my opinion on God of War. This is not a review by the way. I don't do reviews, I don't do what everyone else does. I like to do my own thing on this channel, as you guys know. So thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you wanna support this channel, we've got a Patreon, you can subscribe here, and you can thumbs this video up as well as commenting down below, telling us your thoughts of God of War. Have a great day guys, we'll see you guys in our next video in a few days.